Following recent reports of compromise in the city's drinking water quality, the Nelson Mandela Bay municipality has confirmed the Grass Reach temporary treatment facility as the main source where the contamination of water came from. During a press briefing today, Acting Executive Director for Infrastructure and Engineering, Mr. Joseph Satsire, provided an update on the city's water quality and the actions currently underway to mitigate the crisis. On Monday, the 21st of February, um, we picked up some of our water samples. Uh, we are contaminated with E. coli, and we take um, a decision, you know, to announce this to to the consumers of the metro. Uh, that was done, and we issued what we call a water boil advisory uh, for residents to boil the water and use any other um, um, methods to ensure that you know the water is safe for them to drink. Um, what has all then happened is that we embarked on a troubleshooting process to identify exactly where the contamination was coming from and we identified that you know, the grass ridge uh, temporary treatment works was a source of contamination. Immediately we isolated that on Tuesday at the 22nd um, evening and we then again you know, um, increased the dosage of chlorine into our reticulation to kill all the other harmful bacteria that might be in the system. But there is no longer E. coli in the system, but there is some element of compliance from coliform point of view which we need to achieve, and we're going to be applying remedies and ensure that we do comply to the required you know, 95%. With the city's dam levels currently sitting just below 18%, it is crucial for residents to reduce their water consumption. The water footprint for the metro is above what we are currently producing, um, we are consuming about 278 megalitres on a daily basis and the available production is at just under 230 megalitres on a daily basis. And currently we are managing the deficit within our reservoir storage and this is a huge risk for the metro. We are therefore encouraging in our residents to reduce their consumption on a day-to-day -day basis and ensure that at least we can meet you know, um, um, the, the available um, um, thresholds or production that is available to the metro.